Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 18th. I'm Jason Stanton. I serve First Lutheran in Onalaska as senior pastor, and this is my morning musing for today. Um, I've been I've been kind of mystified by why it's become so controversial to believe experts. Uh, and it's made me think about this question of where do we put our trust? You know, do we do we trust people who tell us what we want to hear? Do we trust people who may say things we don't want to hear, but they're coming from places of expertise. And when, when do we leave the expertise for other expertise? When, when two knowledgeable people uh, or, or different backgrounds just genuinely disagree? It's hard to know where to put our trust sometimes. And it's important to examine why we put our trust in the things we do put our trust in. Uh, I mean, this goes for where, where and how we worship, what denomination we've chosen to be a part of. It goes for what political party we choose to support. It goes for uh, who we are in relationships with, friends, spouses, uh, why do we put trust in this or that or this person or that person, but not these other options? Um, so that's what I've been musing on. Um, and then I came to Psalm 56. Uh, Psalm 56 is kind of kind of speaks to this question. Uh, Be gracious to me, O God, for people trample on me all day long. Foes oppress me. My enemies trample on me all day long for many fight against me. O Most High, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I am not afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long they seek to injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife, they lurk, they watch my steps. As they hoped to have my life, so repay them for their crime. In wrath, Cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat in the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise. In the Lord, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? My vows to you I must perform, O God. I will render thank offerings to you, for you've delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling, so that I may walk before God in the light of life. How can we walk in the light of life now? By putting our trust in this God. So it's made me think, you know, the about how everyone agrees that humans are built to believe in something. The question we have is not whether I shall trust in something, but what something in particular shall I trust, or who particularly shall I trust? There are options, you know, uh, parents, coaches, politicians, celebrities, athletes, and these are options that some people choose to trust in each of those kinds of people. Uh, there are things or ideas that we can put our trust in. Capitalism, democracy, science, religion. Most popularly, where do I put my trust? Myself. <laughs> Me. I, that's where I put my trust. And then we read Psalm 56, In God I trust, I am not afraid. So as I looked at my list, as I was thinking through this, you know, parents, I know this now more than ever because I am one, parents mess up. Pastors, I've been one for a while, I know, pastors mess up. Politicians make promises they can't or never intended to keep. Coaches make mistakes. I've played on enough teams and had enough coaches to know that that happens. 
celebrities can be idiots. Athletes lose. Capitalism leaves people out by design. Democracy is always imperfect. Science is limited in what it can find out. And even once things are found out, science is limited in figuring out how all the things it knows are connected. Religion can be, and actually is always, deeply flawed. But God, you know, religion points toward God. Religion is not God. God is love. God is grace. God is good. Always. You know, there's a saying, never say never or always. God is the only always there is. And so in God, I trust. I am not afraid.